bit of springs before we try here first because uh, the Mataraka thermal pool looking at the amount of people that are on the road at the moment I reckon it is going to be packed I think it's going to so, be packed everywhere today yeah so we thought we'd try bit of springs first anyway um, but yeah she's looking the, uh, the amount of vehicles parked in the car park I think it might be a bit busy here but hopefully not as many people as Mataranka so we'll go and find out <laughs> What do you reckon, dear? Oh, this is great. I want to live here. <laughs> it's about 33 degrees. She's almost feels a bit too warm. It's so clear under there. What the hell? Clear under. Ready? <laughs> Don't be a rookie, bring floaties. <laughs> <sighs> or you could just float. Then you just float. It's a bit of a loop, float all the way down to the end and then a little walking trail back to the start again. Welcome to the end, dear. <laughs> well, mate, I'll tell you what, that was absolutely lovely. Next time, though, Let's I think you definitely, <laughs> definitely got to bring floaties because all you want to do is just float with the current all the well, way down to the end. But if you're good at floating on your back, it's good. Well, that's the thing. I'm not good at floating, so I anyway, know. it was good to cruise around. It was nice and warm in there. It's a bit chilly when you get out, but. <laughs> <laughs> been 30 degrees outside and 33 in the water, it's not going to take long to dry off, I don't think. But yeah, anyway, we'll go and check out how many people at Mataranka. No, I think Bitter Springs was a bit better. It was a lot more natural. There was no uh, like curving or anything it was nice. around the outside, but it was still good. Not as busy as we thought, which was always a positive. We weren't, yep. weren't crammed in there like little sardines. So. No. Anyway, that's us done swimming for the day, so now we make our way down to Daily Waters and have some lunch. Seems as though this place is pretty popular. Apparently. Apparently. Pretty keen for a feed though. Lucky we're not staying the night. Campground looks pretty chockers, but anyway. It's just across the road. The iconic pub. This isn't bloody food chewed, but what do you reckon? That looks alright, doesn't it? Exciting! Oh. Alright, we're gonna put this down. Catch ya.
I'm glad to be pulled up now. Someone's getting a bit rested in the car. Oh, but anyway, we made it to Renner Springs for the night. I think it might be a bit of a loud one tonight because right out the back here, that's the highway. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's only a quick stop over for the night. We'll get going again in the morning. At least the sunrise looks nice. I'll tell you what, mate, that will go down as one of the worst sleeps that I've ever had, I reckon. <laughs> Luckily, it was just a quick overnight stay, but those road trains did not stop all night, which is a bit of a shame. It's just not a bad little spot, just unfortunately right next to the highway. But anyway, luckily it was only for one night, so if you are calling through, probably only stop if it's a last minute resort sort of thing. Um, but otherwise, yeah, keep moving. <laughs> So we're only about 100 k south of Tannock Creek, just off to the eastern side of the highway. Pull off and you will find the Devil's Marbles. <laughs> Looks like Pac-Man upside down. So these cool things have been formed over about the last 1700 years, um, completely formed by erosion. So um, judging by the sign out the front, this all would have been just one massive mountain or rock originally, and then the water gets in there and slowly erodes it away and you end up with the hard stuff left.
here we go, mate. Last campsite. We're on the way home. At the moment, we're probably about 10, 15 k's north of Glendambo. One last little stop. Got the fire going. Got a pork roast going on tonight. Save the best till last. Yum, yum. Loves getting their tripod set up. Get a few photos of the last bit of golden light. Absolutely magic. It's a lot cooler here. Don't bother to put the annex out where I only stopped for one night. Just a quick one. But I'll we'll just wait for that light to go down a little bit more. I might throw the drone up and get a few shots, but otherwise, definitely a lot cooler here than it has been over the last five weeks. So, um, might take a little while to get used to, but all good. Right, oh, the moment of truth. Have we got crackle? Yes, we do. A little bit of crackling for us. It's not actually that hot. What do you reckon? Ooh. Ooh. Any good? <laughs> it's delicious. That looks like a happy wife. A happy wife, happy life, that's what they say. Uh, Alright, I'm going to put these down for now. I'm hungry. Uh -huh.